In the year 2020, we have many options in the gig economy when it comes to making more money. How much can you really earn if you decide to be a dasher on DoorDash? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about how much you can potentially earn being a DoorDasher and a few tips as to how you can make a little more than the average dasher. So let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with The Rideshare Guy, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how much you can expect to make if you decide to hop on the DoorDash platform to make some extra money, or even if you decide to go full-time with it. This video will be referring to the Rideshare Guy article done by Dash Bridges, How Much Can You Earn on DoorDash in 2020? So we'll be referring to that throughout the video. The first thing to mention before we get into it is that a lot of these are market sensitive because different markets pay different amounts. So you may see some varying in terms of how much you can make, but there are some universal things that you can do to make sure you make the maximum in your market. So your DoorDash pay will depend on a variety of factors, including where and when you decide to deliver. With that being said, DoorDash drivers can expect to make between $12 to $18. In 2019, DoorDash said the average DoorDash driver rates would be around $18.50 per hour. However, based on Dash Bridges' experience, and my experience as a DoorDash driver too, in addition to some surveys we've done, we see that the average earnings for DoorDash drivers tends to be about $12 to $18 an hour. As mentioned before, that is market sensitive and he is in the San Francisco market. On the better side, when it comes to driving for DoorDash, we're still suffering from the effects of the pandemic, so a lot of places are still on lockdown. With that being the case, there's many DoorDash drivers that are making exceptionally high earnings based on the high demand. If you'd like to know some additional tips specifically about DoorDash and during the pandemic, then you want to check this video out as it goes into tips that are exclusive to the pandemic and boosting earnings using that to your advantage. So how is DoorDash pay actually calculated? It's a combination of a few things. Those few things being base pay, promotions, tips, and then you have your total earnings. The DoorDash base pay ranges between two to $10 depending on a few factors. Those factors being time, distance, and desirability. Deliveries that are less popular with Dashers, for instance, will have a higher base pay as that order just stays floating around because no one is accepting it. So DoorDash has to increase the base pay so the drivers will start accepting it. Promotions give the drivers an additional incentive to deliver food on certain times, or in certain areas, but they're not necessarily guaranteed. It just depends on what's going on. And tips are pretty much self-explanatory. So can Dashers actually make 1850 like DoorDash claimed in 2019? Well, we're gonna take a look at some numbers here. So our contributor Dash did some driving for DoorDash and kept track of how much he was making so we could do an analysis. He had some good shifts and some bad shifts and let's take a look at the average of them all. So when we crunch the numbers, it comes out to 1659 per hour. That's not exactly 1850 like DoorDash mentioned, is it? Of course, those numbers were when Dash was driving at 6 a.m. and also driving after 11 p.m. when orders tend to be at their lowest because one is the breakfast hour and one is the uh, late night hour, which kind of goes up and down in terms of activity. So he tracked his earnings from the beginning of the year, which was January, to the end of the spreadsheet we just saw, which was May 3rd. And his average per hour was actually $20.50. I don't know about you, but I'd much rather take that $20.50 over the $18.50 or the $16. Now all that is keeping track of your per hour over a duration of time or days. But how much can you actually make strictly on a daily basis? Well, Dash actually did an experiment on a Sunday where he drove six hours and 12 minutes. And let's take a look at what his number said. So Dash made $143.76. $72 of that was in delivery fees and $71.76 was in tips. When you do the math to see how much that was per hour, that was $23.96 per hour. This table breaks down the individual details of how that number played out. Dash mentioned that one thing that contributed to him making more money was keeping a note of restaurants that were taking a long time to get him the food. One thing you probably noticed with that chart was that Dash kept track of the amount of time he was waiting at restaurants. And that can really be the deal breaker between you making $15 an hour and $21 an hour a lot of times. So that's something to consider. You don't necessarily have to write it down, but just kind of keep the mental track of what time is a restaurant like packed in terms of wait time, like they're always taking a while to get you your food. And what times can you just walk in there, pick the order and walk out? You know, some restaurants will be like that all the time and some will be slammed at certain times of the day. 
I always take that in consideration when I'm deciding if I'm going to take a delivery. And I have the do not do business list that I've talked about in another video, which you can click in the right corner right now to see where I'll put the restaurant in a little timeout. But that's just me. Now, it's great to earn nice money on DoorDash, but you also need to realize that you'll have some expenses with driving for DoorDash, too. As you can see here, the expenses you'll typically have are going to be your insurance, car lease or payment if you're financing a car, gas, as well as your phone bill. The good news is that a lot of those expenses are expenses you're already paying anyway, regardless if you're door dashing or not. So that kind of negates some of them to a certain degree. Since these are expenses that can be used as a tax write offs, you want to take a look at our rideshare guide to make sure you're keeping track of all your expenses so you can have more to work with when it comes to filing your taxes. So people like driving for DoorDash for these reasons. Flexibility. You can drive where and whenever you want most of the time. Opportunity. DoorDash gives you an opportunity to make money on your own terms often. You don't need a car to do it. You can actually do it on a scooter or a bike. It gives you the ability to earn a lot of money quickly and you can do contact list deliveries while we're in this pandemic. And I suspect that that's something that's probably gonna carry over even afterwards. In addition to these pros, you can also bring along family members I order from DoorDash all the time, and it's not that uncommon to see someone in the car as your dasher is dropping off your food. And probably the most desirable pro is the option to do quick pay, meaning that you can make a quick 50 or 100 bucks and cash it out that same day on your debit card. Of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. What are the cons? A big con can be the parking fees and parking in general, because in downtown areas, you will need to find places to park so that you can bring the customer their food to the 30th floor or something. Sometimes that can be seen as a con because it's just a, a bit of a hassle. Another con is sometimes the scheduling. Not all shifts that you'll want would always be available. It's depending on supply and demand. So if there's too many dashers online or not enough demand, you won't be able to go online. And the last thing that can be seen as a con is a reliance on tips. As with most delivery jobs, tips play a big role in how much you make. So if customers aren't tipping, that will bite into your bottom line. So what are some things that you can do to increase your earnings in general? You can only accept large orders because large orders tend to pay more. You can drive during big nights, like nights where the game is happening and people are kind of sitting on the couch watching the game and they want some food delivered to them. You can drive strategically, and that includes knowing when to drive, knowing where to drive, and also knowing what restaurants to take food from and which ones to reject based on their wait times. And capping it off, you can use multiple apps. DoorDash isn't the only game in town. There's Uber Eats, Postmates, Instacart, which is delivering groceries, Caviar, and more. So to conclude, how much can DoorDash drivers actually make? Well, what we started with is actually somewhat accurate, where it's between $12 to $18 an hour. However, as you've seen in the article, it is possible to make between $20 to $25 an hour in some cases, if you know how to drive strategically and use some of the tips that we outline here. You can also learn more tips by checking out our DoorDash playlist linked in the description and also in the card right now. That does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We publish new videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified when we drop another video. And if you have any comments, feel free to email us. I'll catch you in the next one. Be safe and profitable, everyone.